All right, guys, um, I want to do a quick little video. I'm going to touch basically on just the me and Zarab match, my thoughts on it, where do I go from here, how I feel about the outcome and all that. I do have a couple other videos I'd like to make about East versus West as far as the tournament. I think a lot of people are doing really good match reviews. <clears throat> I kind of really agree with a lot of things that Paul Lynn said on his match review, so if you haven't seen it, check it out. I know he's trying to put more content out there and build up his channel. Um, I also want to do my Turkish experience. Where we stayed, I stayed at a couple different hotels, did the Turkish spas, sightsee, had a real shady encounter in a basement of a Turkish rug dealership that I got lured into, and I thought I was getting drugged, and your boy was going to get taken, and it got real hairy for a few minutes. Well, like an hour. It was hairy. So that'll be a funny story. But yeah, let's just jump into the means around, because there's a lot of questions out there, uh, a lot of thoughts. So you look at the score. It was uh, 0-3. Can't say I'm happy about it, but I'm not unhappy because I kind of knew what to expect going into this. The competitor in me wants to win, but what I really needed to see was like I needed a, a, a depth finder for what that level was. Because after seeing how he pulled Zoloev and a few of the guys at the AMC in his current form, I wasn't sure if I was living like some illusion that I was like not even close, that I was just going to go up there and no matter what I did, it was going to be like whack, which unfortunately that changed my game plan. I would say my biggest disappointment with that match wasn't the score. It's that I didn't do what my assessment in my brain was to do with him. I, I had an idea. I was like, here's what I'm going to do with him. I'm going to meet him in the middle a little bit. I'm going to keep my body tight and I'm going to push him and, you know, maybe high hook him but have all that control and pressure from my shoulder and meet him in the middle so he wasn't in this positive. Because even without his hand, he he wasn't really without his hand. He was more flat, but then he's got the straps binding around his wrist that he can drive on with that tight, compact frame. Um, so I wanted to kind of keep him sideways. And I don't know, maybe subliminally from all those videos and people I respect seeing him whack him. I don't know if it was, um, you know, the one thing in my training you can only do so much in a time frame i didn't have a lot of ready goes so my last real ready go was against sasha which was like a a year and a half ago that was in like fall or winter of you know like a year and a half ago so you know and then you add the stressful environment right i put a lot of pressure on myself <clears throat> so i think what happens is i think we have plans and then for me at least you fall to like a default setting and my default, especially afraid of a guy coming across, not because I didn't know what that power would feel like. I saw him running through guys like, bam, like fucking smash. So I didn't know if the shoulder was going to hold up or if my bicep was going to hold up. I didn't know what that kind of pressure was. All I know is he's kind of like mythical European and I'm just Rob. So I didn't know what to expect. So because of that, I kind of like aborted mission on how I wanted to stuff him and, and grind with him. And in hindsight, I really think it would have changed the match. I really think I could have secured some pins or the match if I pulled smart using my frame, using my height. Because even with the advantages, even when he got me stretched out, uh, my bicep and forearm and everything was able to hold that pressure and hold some of those aggressive drives, which leads me to believe if we were kind of center tabled, I could have uh, I could have done something. Um yeah, ready goes, but my, I think the old expression, practice makes perfect, is wrong. You know, they say it's not practice makes perfect, it's perfect practice makes perfect. So I just need some time with um, building that confidence, running it back. Now that I know, like if we would have a rematch, now that I know that I'm strong enough through the shoulder, you know, the shoulder's been a source of insecurity for me with those old injuries. I'm not feeling any pains in my shoulder. I'm not feeling any pains in my arm. I walked out of it. I worked out yesterday. I feel like if I was able to just crunch it and meet him and 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 find it center instead of letting him get over here before I stopped it, um, yeah, I think that's time to make that, like, practice those lanes, make it default, and uh, just adjustments. I mean, there is a, a power line where people can do all the right things and he's just going to fucking slap you. And we've seen it, like with other guys, even at the AMC, people get all the right angles on him and he just fucking pushes. I don't think that's the case with me. With what I felt, I felt very 
much there where if it fell in my lane, I really think that I could have secured that. Um, the ref's grips were kind of a little confusing because I'm used to either get your own grip or set grip, like a set grip where you don't move. Um, there was a gray area in there where you could manipulate a little bit. So I think that was an experience curve where um, playing that gray area a little bit, you know, the start cadence was there, that little pause there. So there was some anticipation with the starts. Again, this is part of East versus West experience. Um, you know, within the what we were allowed to do, I think Zarab played the game great. That showed his experience. It showed his experience at East versus West. It showed his gamesmanship. I don't feel cheated. I just feel like um, a learning curve, you know, a little bit of like, I got to collect data from him. I'm trying to collect data from the refs. I'm trying to collect data from what's allowable, what's not. All the whole time, you know, being moderately insecure and wanting to back up and end up in this way. So, yeah, I mean, I got nothing to say other than under the whole parameters, the way it went down, there was a win and a loss, and he beat me. He was a, a gentleman, a tremendous competitor, um, deserves to be where he's at. Uh, you know, I don't think he's, people are asking me what I think about Europeans. I don't think he's the standard for Europeans because he's destroying all the Europeans. Like, here's a guy standing here, and he beat the guys from the West, and he destroyed everyone from the East. He's just like the guy. So it's not really like, oh, you know, Rob, you're getting your ass kicked by Europeans. And then my last match a year and a half ago was against Sasha, who's, you know, many time world champion 209, <clears throat> 200, whatever. But I feel like I was in a, I, I have a good trajectory. I'm not unhappy because I feel like there's a lot of things that I can dial in on. Like if I just touched up on it would make huge differences. You know, if I was a little more confident, you know, popping that go, getting that center table, throwing my shoulder at it a little more. That's not like a, a strength thing. That's like a making the decision like neurologically to just fire it. And um, yeah, I think just maybe a little more table time and just building those comfortable lanes and making them on auto autopilot, you know, becoming that dude. And uh, I really think if it was run again, the tides could turn like drastically and knowing how much there is to improve on from a technical standpoint. And then with that, I'll continue to get more conditioned and stronger. I'm really, uh, I'm optimistic, you know, in, in years past losses really kind of got me down, but I got to feel where the very best was. And I didn't know if I was like deluded and he was going to burn through me and, and make me feel like we weren't even in the same sport. And I got to get in there and put in some work that from what I collected from it, it's, I'm in it, I'm there. And I could see where, you know, as the months go by, I'm going to bypass buddy boy. And that's just my honest beliefs. So for now, Zarab was great. Congrats. I don't think any of our guys were totally outmatched, but I'll review on that. You know, sometimes we talked about this 3-0 is not as uh, simple as the score, but Hey, like I said, Zarab was a great guy, and uh, everyone out there was was really nice. And uh, hey, he gave me a rabbit to chase, but it's not like it's way down there. It's kind of right fucking, I can almost taste it. I can almost, few little things, but one of those East versus West, if I can redo that, big difference, man.